Hi guys, Avi here. Now, if you've already had some experience with Python, you know how things work, go ahead and skip this section. Basically, this is your first time programming or if this is your first time dealing with Python, then this section is for you. In this section, we plan to cover all the basics of Python, from variable types and loops to functions and classes. Now, let's get started. So, in this lecture, we're going to be talking about variables. First thing first, what is a variable? Now, if you've dealt with any programming language before, you know what variable is. A variable is a reserved memory space. Okay. Now, this memory space can hold any value, and it is assigned to a term. So, for example, I can create a variable called maybe my age, so age, and I can set that equal to anything I want. I can set it to maybe a text, so I can take, set it to some text. I can set it to my actual age, which is a number. I can say age is equal to 14. So here what we've done is we've created a variable whose name is age and whose value is 14. Now, wherever in the Python program I call on age, I'm going to get the value as 14. Okay. Now, the neat thing about variables is you can always change the value. Remember, variables are not permanent. Variables are changeable. So I can now say, hey, uh, my birthday was yesterday. I am now 15 years old. So age is now equal to 15. And if I print out age, I get the value as 15. So this is key. Now, while assigning variables to Python, the concept is very, very simple. First part is the variable name. It can be Bob. It can be John. You can have a capital letter. You can have all caps. Um, doesn't really matter. You just need an identifier. Now, if I try doing maybe like print is equal to something, I can't do that because print is a function in Python. So these are, um, the case does matter when you're assigning variables, but however, stick to some normal names. Maybe if you're trying to get a print variable, then my print or something like that. Now with variables, it's very simple. It's a three step procedure. You write your identifier. Uh, or a variable name, a var name, you use an equal sign to say that, hey, I'm assigning the value to the variable var name, and then what you do is you s give it its value. For example, I'm creating var name as an integer with 12. So something like that. All right, fantastic. So in this lecture, we just gave a very, very brief introduction to variables, how to assign variables, and what variables are. Now, in the next lecture, we'll talk about multiple declaration of variables. See you in the next lecture.